Okay, so we have a motor from Monster Guts. They're 12 volt, double speed. Very good, very good motor. So what I did, two angles, Menards, and a plate. I drilled three holes in the plate and I created a big hole in the center for the motor shaft to go through. As you can see, so he's on there. Uh, I just put a screw with a lock nut and a bolt and that's going to be the shaft. And now I'm going to mount the motor, hunk of wood, I offset drill down the bottoms. So the head of screws will go in there and I'll mount the motor to this. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so I mounted the motor to this. Now, rocket chair. Yeah, it's an old rocket chair, 10 bucks from Craigslist. There I got a local. So down here, I just put a screw through the leg, and of course you, the lock washer, nut, two washers, and I gotta tighten this up a little, your shaft, which is a piece of strip, not that long, two more washers, a nut, a lock and a nut, so that should never come loose. That's off there. Now I'll put the motor under here and do the same thing on it. Okay. Okay, so the shaft down there, we got, of course, our nut with a lock washer and a nut. Two washers, the strap, the shaft, two more washers. A nut, a lock washer, and nut. Now let me uh, let me fire something to show you. Simple. Now what I found out is the chair is just always gonna the board's gonna center to where the chair is rocking, and as you see nothing's moving. So. At first I thought I'd have to put a board under the whole chair and attach the chair to it, but I might just put a brick on this and let her go. That's got a good rock. Put a skeleton in it. Of course, the board and all the metal is going to be painted black. And yeah, I'm thinking I'm on the back of the chair, I'm here, here, just to hang down a piece of black cloth. Like that stuff to prevent weeds coming up in your garden. That way anyone can, can't see any motor underneath it. But then I'll be playing black. Let me see if I can get a skeleton in there and see if he'll rock. Okay, so there you have it. It's a pretty good... Good rock, perfect rock. So I just hooked the skeleton in with rope real quick. So, so again, rocking chair, garage sale, ten bucks. Skeleton, I think it was Jewel or uh, Walgreens for thirty nine. I might have had that one. Uh, he'll just be hooked down. Uh, piece of wood. I might put a brick on it. Motor, monster guts with supply, 12 volt, 5 amp, basic shaft, simple, couple of screws, nuts, and bolts, and washers, and he's ready to rock. Halloween. Like I said, everything down there, the motor brackets, the wood, bolts, and everything will be painted black. I'll hang a piece of black under the bottom of that chair, no one will see under it. Which you really can't see anyway, because he's going to be facing like that. 
feet push you off the ground nice too. So that's a quick project, really much, a couple hours. And I gotta flip his hands over because they're sticking up, but uh, I got a poseable skeleton there I could use. So that was quick. Another thing I made was a gravekeeper. Uh, he will be watching over the grave this year. Wood stand, PVC pipe, boots at Goodwill, pants and shirt of mine, lantern at a garage sale. Mass was five bucks at a garage sale. Stuffed them with bubble wrap. And uh, he'll be watching over the grave. Posable skeleton. Guy that's gonna look over the gravestone. But today's project was this. Came out good. A few touches up and he's ready to go. Storage, if the chair will just sit outside and behind the shed, let it get weathered. Skeleton will go up in the attic. With the board and the motor. And he's ready to rock and roll this Halloween. Another quick DIY project for you Halloweeners. Happy Halloween.